Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, today I am filming my spring summer, <laughs> uh, well spring fashion haul for you. So these are all things that I picked up in the past couple of months. I think since early February, I think that's that's sort of the timeline for when I got all of these things. So I'm not sure whether any of it is still available, um, but I just thought I could show you again. Um, every time I have around the 25 pieces that I've gathered in a certain number in a certain period of time, that's when I tend to show you everything that I got. So that's what this video is. I definitely want to spruce up my wardrobe. There were a couple of things that were missing. As you can see, there's a, a bit of color there uh, and also over on that side. So I'm excited to show you what I will actually, what I've actually bought. And um, yeah, let's start with shoes first. So this pair of shoes is a pair of sandals that I got from H&M. Let me uh, unwrap these. Um, these I already showed you in my shoe collection video because I already bought those at the time when that video was going to go live so I put them in there so we'll make sure to link that in the eye above in case you would like to see all of the shoes that I have save for the two shoes that are coming up in a minute um, but this is them they have a little bit of a heel but as you can see it's got like a straight heel and then it just has these straps that your foot then goes into and then it has these ties to tie them around your ankle and I thought that was super cute. I bought a very similar pair uh, of these kind of H&M shoes with this like fabric-y sort of tie in the front uh, in a yellow I think last year and those were super comfortable because this is a fabric it kind of stretches and that means also that it doesn't pinch your toes anywhere so that's super comfortable and yeah these I think are a great piece for the summertime and they have this lovely sort of like rusty orangey kind of shade and I actually have a pair of sandals that have like an orange tint to them in a snake print that I love to wear in the summertime because they actually work on me as a neutral so uh, I know that this will go with lots of different things. And then a pair of shoes that didn't make it into that video yet because I didn't have them is these mules by Zara and this is what they look like from the side. They have the flat edge to the back and then this is a bit rounded but what I liked about these is that they are asymmetrically cut um, so the way your foot slips into this is super duper nice and these actually fit me. Very often mules don't fit me because I have pretty wide feet and but these are a real leather so they will also stretch out a little bit and these are just really nice. I just realized now that I need to cut this little thing out uh, before I wear them. But they're a lovely like cognac kind of shade. And because it has that cut, but still has this and this side, I feel your foot is in them quite nicely, like quite sturdy. And the heel is a good sized heel, but it's not too, too high. So this is a lovely little Zara shoe. And I don't own that many Zara shoes. And I'm now like, they also do a very similar style to this, but like with like, a regular strap in a lilac and I'm very much lusting after those. I, do, I know I don't need any more shoes but this pair I thought was again a good basic to go with many different summer outfits. And if you saw my shoe collection then you know that I was going to hopefully buy at some point in time a replacement for my silver brogues. I had a pair of ASOS brogues in a silver with like black laces and black soles that I quite liked but because they were faux leather it just, they were a bit stiff and they weren't that comfortable and they just looked a bit cheaply made as well. And then I spotted these on ASOS again and they are this pair of brogues. So they're like true brogues. The other ones were more like Oxfords because the difference between an Oxford, Oxford and a brogue, if you don't know, brogues always have this sort of like detailing on them and Oxfords do not. And then it just has a quite a chunky sole, but I like that this is the white because I like wearing brogues mostly in the spring summer season. And then I just like them to not be super duper dark. And then it just has this really cool metallic and these are in the leather and they are wide fit. So for my wide feet, this is perfect. They fit really, really nicely. The sole, because it is quite thick, it is a little bit stiff. So this is definitely a pair of shoes that you do need to break in, but yeah, I just, really really like these and I haven't worn them anywhere yet but I think that I have a few items in my haul today that these will go really really nicely with. Alright for the next item I'm gonna have to move back because I got myself pleated pants from H&M. They are nice and bright like this really nice cherry pink color but they are see-through so I'm pretty sure <laughs> you can see where my top sort of ends 
which um, is a bit unflattering perhaps. So yeah, you need to be very careful what kind of underwear you wear with this. So a pair of like nude knickers and like making sure that if you tuck a top that it's not too dark, that is going to be something that you do need to do because it is a bit see-through. But yeah, these are just super nice and flowy and really nice lightweight for the summertime. So that's what I like about these. And this is the other pair of pink trousers that I got. These are from Zara. They come with this blazer. Um, so this is a suit. I saw this on Zara and I just really, really liked it. So I figured that I could get myself a nice pink suit. This is what the suit looks like if I put it all together. But yeah, this pinky number I thought was really nice. I also tried a pink suit from H&M, but that color just wasn't really perfect for me. It just didn't have the right undertone. It veered more towards a red. Whereas this is a lot brighter and just, I really, really like it. So this is my pink suit. But when you get yourself a pink suit, why not also get yourself a yellow suit? And this suit is not from Zara, this is from ASOS. And what I like about this suit in particular is that it has super high-waisted pants. I just feel that looks more flattering on me. The Zara pants are more like a mid-rise, these are a high-rise, so I do tend to like that a lot more. And I just really like this shade on me, like I thought it was really, really stunning. And um, I'm usually not a big fan of yellow, but this kind of yellow, for some reason, it kind of works, I feel. And I really like the cut of the jacket, which was something I didn't realize, but it's quite fitted. So if I turn around, like it's quite fitted, so it kind of like nips you in at the waist which I think gives me a really nice shape with, often with blazers, I feel they kind of drown me and they make me look a bit like a block. But with this, I feel that I still have a nice shape. All right, the next item is not a blazer, it's a coat. And I'm just keeping the yellow trousers on for the time being, just to have something on here. Um, and this coat is by Zara. And I spotted this on a huge, huge deal. I'm not even sure, it was like more than half off. It's a really nice sort of like brushed wool, which I really like, and it's in this beige shade. And I, I have beige coats, but nothing in like this long line, like very classic camely beige winter coat. It doesn't have any details. It just has one button and that's it. So this is great for like transitional weather. I definitely think I will not be wearing this anytime soon. This to me is more like a fall, like, summer to fall kind of item and then a super fun item if I say so myself and that is a jumpsuit by Mango which is way too long on me currently as it stands because it truly pulls around my feet like it is way way too long which I'm aware of don't worry about it but yeah I just thought that this looked really really cute it's a green shade and then it has polka dots which I love and next up is a play suit by H&M. Um, and these have like shorts and then they have these very floaty sort of bottoms to them and these like floaty sleeves. And then these have the tie in the back. And this is just great for the summertime. Like I like either wearing these on vacation or if I'm lounging around the house or this is not really something I would go wear to work. All right, time for two bottoms and then we're done with bottoms and things like that. So this is a skirt from H&M. And I really like this. It's a very light baby pink. And it's like a midi, well, almost maxi length on me. <laughs> um, and this is just, it's got an elasticated waistband, so it's really nice. And what I liked about it is it's a very pale pink. And it's got this like mesh, like tool layer with white polka dots. And <laughs> I thought it was very, very nice. But I thought it would be very nice with this top. So this blouse is also H&M and they do this print in like many different things. I think they do it in a dress and they do it in like uh, like different dresses, I think, but they also did it in this top. And in this top, I like it best. I probably wouldn't go with a black shirt underneath it, but more like a nude so that you can see the print a bit better. But it's got this like leafy, like florally design all over it. And I just thought that this together was quite sweet. And then another skirt for you, and this one I thought was super fun. It's by Monkey, and it's it's just a stunning fabric. I really like it. It's, it feels very sort of light and airy, and it has the color of the season, purple, 
but then mixed with a yellow, it's like violet print, and then it's got the bright blue and the white and the green, so this skirt can go with so many different things because as long as you pick up on one of the shades that is in the skirt, it will just work. And one thing that I love about this skirt is that it has buttons down the front, but you don't have to unbutton them because it has an elasticated waistband, so that's great. And then I sort of got this top to go with it, but not really, and that's this one. So lilac is the color of the season, and I love lilac. It's my favorite pastel, <laughs> but I didn't own a lilac bl uh, blouse anymore, and I just felt this is a bit oversized, but I quite like that look. Because what you can then do, if I'd want to, you could tuck it if you'd like. What you could also do, if you unbutton one or two buttons at the bottom, you can sort of gather it and tie it around your waist like this. And I think that that is an outfit. Right, the next item I'd like to show you is this dress by Zara. And this is a broderie anglaise dress. Let me show you up close. It's got these like nice little like holy bits. I love Zara's broderie anglaise. I have a few of their items from previous years. And this feels like such great quality. It's a very stiff cotton, but it does have like a complete layer underneath it from here all the way down. So it's not see-through at all, save for your shoulders. So you can pretty much wear anything underneath it and it will be fine. And I loved how it had these like poofy sort of sleeves, these like, like, these like, like ruffle, like the ones that have, like go all the way down to the floor, like this style of dress, just make me look really short and frumpy. Whereas this I feel, because you can still see my legs, I still have a shape. <laughs> it's, it's still, you know, it's still there. Plus, I just think it really flatters my features and it's just a really, really nice, good quality item. The only thing I wish was that the neckline would be different because it's got a round, like, colorless neckline. And I think this would have been much more, even more stunning if it had, like, a very pointy collar, but that's just me. All right, so the next item is a dress by Monkey. And I love Monkey this season, like they're acing it for real. And this is a very dark green dress and it's a very lightweight material. The color isn't very spring summer, I feel, but the material definitely is. This feels like, I don't know, like second skin. It's very thin, it feels, but it still feels sturdy enough, not like you will just, you know, tear it in instantly. And it is quite long on me. But, you, you know, it's like that midi length where you still see a bit of ankle. This with a pair of white sneakers, I think, is a look. It has this tie waist, which I'm not too, like, fussed about, but I like singeing in my waist. But I would probably wear this with, like, a regular black belt that I just have because I think that that will work really well. And this is just, it was such a nice item and it wasn't expensive at all. So, yeah, this is a monkey dress in a really nice dark green shade. All right, another dress for you. This is by Warehouse, which is a brand I found on ASOS. I actually believe they went bankrupt the other day. Oasis and Warehouse are under the same brand. I thought I saw something like that being posted on The Guardian, but this is quite possibly one of my favorite items in the haul because I think it's super flattering on. I'll show you. So this is the dress. And it's again, it's a midi length. It's a little bit uh, like higher up than the H&M and monkey dress on me, and oh, my hair is itching, hold on. <laughs> and this is just, it's a really nice dark navy blue, and then it has this like tropical print, but I just really like how it singes me in here, and then really sort of skims down, but it has this like boxier fit in the, in the, in the top. It has this like, almost like a kimono style sleeve to it, if you know what I mean, and I just thought that this was very flattering on. It's got these three wooden buttons going down, it has this little sash, which I'm not sure whether I like that. I actually like the dress a lot without the sash, and then it just has a zipper in the back. So it's a, it's a really pretty dress. It is also very sturdy material. It feels like really well made, and um, it's, a, it's just a really flattering dress, I thought. Right, I have another dress for you. This one is from Zara, and I mainly kept this because of the print and because of the fit. I think it looks stunning. Let me show you the print up close. It has a like dove bluish gray, 
and then it has pink and like this like warmer reddish shade in it with the floral and then cream and black. It has poofy sleeve, uh, like a poofy sleeve here, like with a ruffle. It's got really sort of overly dramatic cuffs here, like really sort of big cuffs. And then it has a fit and flare length. And this on me always looks very flattering. I feel like a skater fit and flare dress. It's more fitted in the top and then it sort of skims over your hips. It's got pockets and it's got a really nice flow to it. I really like it. The only thing it does is that it gapes here, which <laughs> is annoying, but I know I can fix that either with a pin or with a, like if I buy those like snap buttons, if I sew one of those on, I can like make it work. I have this with almost every single button down item that goes over the chest, it gapes, yeah? Because I've got a larger chest. But I felt that if I were to size up in it, it wouldn't fit as nicely in the body anymore. And I really like how it singes me in the waist. It comes with a belt. Um, so it has a belt and I do also like the belt with it. Um, because it does accentuate your waist a little bit more, but I actually like I prefer it without the belt um, Yeah, so that's uh, that's what that dress looks like All right final dress. Um, this is by H&M. It's a leopard print dress. Did you know that I didn't own a leopard print dress yet? I know blasphemy I think I have everything in a leopard print apart from a dress and we've now remedied that it has a little like layer underneath it to layer underneath the dress and this is one of those like very ruffly sort of dresses and I don't know why but I really like the look of this. It has a very flowy feel to it so it doesn't feel super like billowy or anything like that. It's not too unflattering. I do have to say that I will be like putting, putting, putting a belt around this. Like this is one that I have to belt I feel because then it just feels like right now I lose all the shape I have and I feel that if I put a belt around it that it actually works a lot better on me. But yeah, leopard print dress by H&M. I really thought the leopard was also quite flattering. It's not like a, it's not a very like, I don't know. Sometimes leopard doesn't feel right. Like this I like, it's a good leopard print if you know what I mean. And now we just have some tops left. I bought this blouse from Zara. It's a really, really pretty like, mauve shade it's like this like dirty lilac almost you could say and it has like a very soft velvety almost like like it is a rib material it's like corduroy but very fine and that's why it feels like velvet and it's got these pockets here the reason why i'm not butting it buttoning it up is because this is one of those shirts that you can either wear like just with jeans and then a top underneath it and then just throw it over like you would almost with a jeans jacket so this is the kind of shirt that I think is very versatile in the spring summer season because you can either wear this as is and like because it's quite billowy and oversized again this can work really well if you do it like with a knot you can wear it like this you can button it up you can tuck it in you can wear it as a lightweight jacket when it gets really warm in the summer and I really thought that this color was super flattering it is a little bit oversized and that's something that I also really like so yeah this is the Zara blouse all right, and then another blouse. This is another Zara blouse, and it has these super billowy, oversized, poofy sleeves. It has a very sort of Victoriana kind of style to it. Oh wait, I forgot to do a button here at the top, so then the color looks a bit better, I think. Uh, and it has this embroidery detail on the front, and then it has these really, really cute, like ruffly sleeves. It's not focusing, but yeah, it has these really cute sleeves that are elasticated, so these work really well. And it's a very sort of like lightweight cotton material. It doesn't have anything else to it. It's uh, not a super long blouse, but just long enough to wear it with high-waisted jeans, tucked into a skirt. I just can see myself wearing something like this, plus these sleeves. I thought it was either going to look great on me or hideous, and I feel that it works really well. Usually these like oversized shoulders don't really work but because it also has the sleeves going for it I think that this with just like black skinny jeans and just this could look really really nice but you could also like layer something over it so that you only see the sleeves for instance and you don't see the body so much so if you have like something like a gilet which I don't but theoretically and I could also for instance if I have something that has longer sleeves but I want to have a fun detail somewhere then I could perhaps layer this also underneath a sweater and just have this color for instance poking out and the sleeves something like that so another blouse that I got is from Primark this has um, oh 
they are real pockets actually, that's good. Um, so it's got some pockets in the front and then it has this really lovely palm tree print uh, design to it. It's a cream shirt, but because of the design I feel it can go with a lot of things. It's quite long, it's quite boxy, but this is one that I think is perfect for knotting again in the front. That's what I, I really have, I have so many top, like, not front blouses that I also bought, like, as not from blouses, but it's what I do with a lot of my blouses in the spring, summertime. It's got a longer sleeve, it's got a nice boxy sort of like dad-like fit. And I don't buy a lot from Primark, but when they have a fun print in like this, I just can't say no. So that's the Primark blouse. All right, this is the last blouse, last top I'm showing you on. This is by Pieces Vila only, one of those brands. It's a Danish brand that you see a lot around here in the Netherlands. And it's this leopard print silky number. Again, it has those like poofy sleeves, which you see everywhere right now. It's got a really nice pointy collar, but I like to just wear it like this. I never really button it up all the way. And it's got really nice sort of like uh, cups to them as well. And then it just, it's got a fairly good length on it as well. It's a bit more tailored and it has this very silky sort of feel to it. So I think that this underneath a blazer or also like with jeans, like this is a really nice shirt that you can also use not only to play with print, but also with texture. And I really like the colors of this actually, because it's got cream, black, like a beigey, olivey green almost. And then it's got mint green, peach and bronze, and especially mint green, peach and bronze are usually not shades that I can wear, but because it's sort of like mixed in this leopard print, I feel it works really, really well. And uh, I just thought it was very flattering on it. And these final two items I'm not putting on because if you've seen any of my hauls before, then you know what these look like because I got myself two new turtlenecks from Monkey. I got, the, got it in a cream and I got it in a black. And I'm not sure if you can see, you can see best in this one. Like they both have, like this has like black specks and this has white specks. So, and if you saw my wardrobe declutter, then you know that I got rid of one of my black turtlenecks because it was a bit flimsy in the neck. So uh, I decided to, and I said then, like if Monkey does a good black one, I will buy it. So they got a black one, but then I saw the cream and I was like, ooh, the cream is nice too. So yeah, that would be uh, the two last items that I wanted to show you in this video. So yeah, those were all of the items that I wanted to show you in this spring summer haul. I know it may seem weird because everybody's self-isolating, when will you be wearing these things? But I definitely got these things to hopefully be able to wear them for years to come and not just for this season. So even if I don't get to get around to, you know, wearing the jumpsuit anytime soon because dance is going to be canceled until, I don't know, next year by the time that things start opening up again, I can of course wear it. And uh, that's sort of my intention here. Um, so yeah, that's sort of what I wanted to say. Um, next month, because I know I'm, I'm like, a lot of my fashion content on this channel is just hauls and I'm trying not to. I was previously like showing outfits that I actually wore to work uh, over on my blog at least once a month. And I was doing that very consistently because I also want to show you how I like to wear stuff. Um, but it's just very time consuming to film. So my plan is hopefully next month to do sort of like an apple shape lookbook because that's the shape I have. So I just thought that maybe I could give my tips and like what I like to do in order to dress myself and what I think is most flattering on my body shape. I also wear things that I don't think are flattering on my body shape at all. I think some of the dresses that are in here today are not the most flattering per se. Um, but yeah, there are things that are super flattering. <laughs> and uh, so I thought I could do a lookbook on that, which will be a little bit different. But yeah, I hope I get round to it because with fashion content, I always have the best intentions. And then I just, I need to schedule a full day if I want to make one of these videos. So bear with me as I try to get myself to do more fashion content. And then I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more by me. And I make three new videos a week. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you very much for watching.